is up guys phoenix here and today we're going to be working on death the kid from soul leader which is an anime i love now the manga is way better but the anime is okay as well and if you guys have seen the time lapse um you know what it's going to turn out looking like and we're just going to get started so for this part of the tutorial we're going to be using dirt and black wool and we also am i on the right side of the pixel art let me see yeah we are we're going to be using dirt and black wool and we're also going to be needing um what you might call it just to keep in mind that even though the, the the thumbnail is a dark gray hairline, I'm going to be trying out the black hair for this one just because people did say his hair did look a little off. And I'm going to just see how it looks towards the end. Anyways, to start off, we're just going to put two pieces of vertical black wool, and that's going to kick off the tutorial. From those two, we're going to go to the top one right here and put an extra two to the right. One, two, so that it becomes three long in length. From there, we're going to go to the right side of the three flat we have right here and put a dirt block on the right side and go up and to the right, two flat like so, one, two, add a diagonal and we're going to do that three times in a row. So this is the first time and we need two more, two, three. After that, we're going to switch it up a little bit, just a tiny whiny bit and we're going to switch it up by going, I think. It would actually look good to do an extra set of two. So we're going to open to the right another set of two. And now we'll start breaking into the three. I was going to put the threes in early, but I think doing all the twos in a row like this, so we have one, two, three, four twos. Then three threes is a good way to go. So we're going to open to the right three flat, one, two, three. And we're going to do that three times in a row. So this is one. One, two, three, that's two. And finally, one, two, three, that's three. From there, we're going to up and to the right, two flat, two more times again. One, two. One, two. And we're almost done with the collar, and then we can start some of the next stuff that goes on with the tutorial. After these two flats, we're going to go to the right of it and put a dirt block so we can go at a diagonal. And we're going to put four single blocks just going up and to the right, touching only at the diagonal like this, so one two, three, four. From the last block in the four single right here, we're going to put one dirt block on the right so we can use it to go up and to the right, six flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that six flat is going to be very important to us. We're going to use that to actually go up and then bring the collar back down as well. So on the six flat, we're going to go to the final block and put one below it. And also from the final block, we're going to up and to the right, one single. And that's just going to kick off both sides of the pixel art. So we're going to go below it now to first start off, and then we're going to go to this corner block later. So from the one down block we have right here, we're going to go down and to the left, one single again. Down and to the left, two flat, one, two. And then from the two flat, we're going to go to the left block right here and put an extra two blocks beneath it. One, two. To reach the ground now, we're gonna go down and to the left, seven vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just to make sure we touch the ground right where we're supposed to, we're gonna go down and to the right now, three vertical. One, two, three. And as you can see, the three vertical touched the ground, which means you did this part correctly. And we can now fly up to where we have this one single right here, just waiting and continue from there to start the next part of his shirt. Now from the single right here that we have just chilling, we're gonna go up and to the right using our placement block. One more single. So now we have just two singles right here and you can get rid of this dirt block because it's in the way. We're then gonna go up and to the right, five vertical. And just always make sure you use a placement block to do this. One, two, three, four, five. Delete your placement block. And then we're gonna go up and to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. And from that three vertical, we're gonna go to the top block and just add four to the right of it. One, two, three, four. And now we have what we need to create the neck and collar bridge. So just recount if you need to, make sure this is five long. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go to the end of it and put an extra block to the right. And from that extra block, we're gonna put one on top and one below it. 
So since we put one on top, one below, it should be three tall, which it is. And on the top of this three tall we just created, we're gonna put one extra on top and one to the right of that. So it looks like this. And then going to the bottom of it, we're gonna go down and to the right from the bottom, five vertical, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna zoom out and show you how it's supposed to look. So before you delete the three blocks right here, just make sure the three dirt blocks, just make sure it looks like this and then we can move forward. So I do want to set up a little bit of the jaw, which is with the two flat right here before we continue. So from the two flat, we're going to go up and to the left two vertical up and to the left two flat up and to the left two flat again. And it should look like this. So now we just have a bunch of twos. So it's two flat, two vertical, two flat, two flat. And then we're going to go up and to the left, two single. And this is what we're going to just leave for now for the face. Um, we don't want to continue it yet, but we do want to just set up little points for the face. So we'll continue off these two verticals later. And on the bottom side of it, where we have this two flat, we're going to go down to the right two flat again. And that's what we'll continue off of later. So we'll continue off of here and there later. But for now, we're going to go down to the five vertical we have right here and use that to build the collar of his shirt. So from the five vertical, what we're going to do is go to the bottom block and put one to the left, like so. Then also from the bottom block, so instead of putting one to the left now, we're going to put one below it. And from that one below, we're going to put an extra block to the right. So this is how it should look. Now from the two that we have hanging to the left side of it, we're going to go up and to the left two singles, one, two. And then the final thing we want to do right here is just go up and to the left two vertical. And that's it for this side of the collar and his shirt. We can now descend down to the right over here where we have the two flat on the right. So these two right here, one, two. And we're going to start going down into the right from there. So using your placement block, what I want you to do every time is just put one underneath the newest block like this. And we're just going to keep going down into the right until I specify otherwise. So first off, we're going to go down into the right, one single. Down into the right, two flat. Down into the right, one single again. Let me just zoom out so you can see how it looks. And now from that one single, we're going to go down into the right two flat three times in a row. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's three of them in a row. Then after that, we're going to go down into the right one single again. So it's just constantly building up like a slant. And I'm going to move over the right hand camera just a bit just so we can see where the pixel art is headed. Perfect. So we have three sets of two flat, then one single, and let's see what we're going to do after that. So after that, we're going to do three sets of two flat again. So down into the right, one, two, that's one, one, two, that's two, one, two, that's three. And now it's time to build like the little cuff link thingy in his shirt. So we'll handle that right now. So we're going to go to the end of the two flat we have right here. And we're going to add another set of two flat going down into the right. Except this time with this fourth two flat, we're going to go to the right block in it and put two black wool below it. Then from those two black wools we put below, we're going to put one to the right of each of them. So one, one. Now from this big cube we created, this two by two. We're going to go to the left of the bottom two blocks and put two to the left. Now, from the end of the two to the left we just added, we're going to go down to the left three single. One, two, three. And then to finish off this side of the cufflink, we're going to go down to the left two flat two times in a row. One, two. Placement block. One, two. So that's it for this side of the 
the cuffing or the cuffling, we're gonna kind of just reach up to the other side by using the center right here with the two by two. So we're gonna go down and to the right from this two by two brick this time, add a diagonal, two flat. Like this. Then we're gonna go up and to the right, two vertical. Then from that two vertical, we're gonna put one to the right of each of them, like so. And now we have this brick created on the opposite side. So from this brick on the opposite side we created, we're gonna go to the two bottom blocks and put two to the right. So now we have this similar thing on this side that we have on the opposite side. From the two flat right here, we're gonna go down into the right, two vertical. Now from the two vertical right here, we're gonna go down into the right, two flat. Down to right, two flat again. And then finally down into the right, one single. So now you have both folds and on both sides of the shirt. And we need to rise this side up like we have this risen up. Now from this two by two chunk, we're gonna go to the top right block. So this one right here. And we're gonna put one black wool on top and then one to the right of it, like so. We're then gonna go up and to the right, two flat, two times in a row. One, two, up and to the right, one single, up and to the right, two flat, and we're just working our way up into the corner. It's kind of not symmetrical, so if you guys have this side done, do not mimic it onto the opposite side. The numbers are slightly different, so let me just recap, two flat. Two flat again, two flat a third time, one, two. From there, we're gonna up and to the right, two single, one, two. Up and to the right, two flat. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two flat. Let me just make sure I'm counting everything. We have one, one, two, one, two. Then we're gonna go up and to the right, two vertical. And from the two vertical, we're gonna go to the top block right here and put one to the right. So now it looks kind of like an R made of three blocks. And we're gonna do another R right here. So we're gonna go up and to the right, another R made of three blocks like this. Except with the second one, we're gonna go to these two vertical right here and add an extra three to the top. One, two, three. Now from this one hanging out the bottom right here, we're gonna up and to the right, three single. One, two, three. And that's it for this side of his cuff. So let me just zoom out. So you actually, I don't need to zoom out. Right hand screen can catch it all on camera. So that's it for his cuff on the right side. We need to get the bottom half of his face now brought around so that we can do his other shoulder. So moving on to this two flat that I had that said we were going to continue from later. We're going to continue from there now and actually try to bring it around to the opposite side. So first we're going to go down and to the right. Two flat, five times in a row. So two flat just like this. Five times, that's one, two, three, four, five. And remember, we already started with one, so it should be six of them in a row right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, because the first one was already there. Anyways, from there, we're gonna go down and to the right. Let me, actually, let me make sure I'm counting everything correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. And hmm, I think maybe we need to do a seventh one. I'm not sure, let me count this a second time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we need a seventh one. Sorry about that, guys. So we're gonna go down to the right two flat a seventh time. So make sure that from this two vertical, 
onwards is seven, okay? So count it from there onward. Anyways, we're gonna go down into the right after that. Three flat, one, two, three. And remember what I told you to go down into the right, just pull up, um, put a dirt block on the right or the bottom of the last block we place every time, so that's easier to continue. So after that three flat, we're gonna go down into the right. Eight flat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I always suggest putting your placement block on the right side, just in case if we ever switch up and start going up into the right, which is what we're doing now, it's easier to transition over. So we're gonna be going up into the right now, so putting the placement block to the right side is what you would want to do. So after the eight flat, we're gonna go up into the right, two flat, six times in a row. So two flat like this, only touching at a diagonal, six times, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. From that six, it's gonna, it's gonna be a mix of sixes and one, I mean, six, two singles and ones. We're just gonna go up into the right, one single, up into the right, two flat, up into the right, two single, up into the right, two flat, and from this two flat, this is very important, we're gonna work with the block on the right right here. First off, we're gonna go up into the right one single from it, like so. But that's the least important part of it. We're gonna go underneath it now and put three extra blocks going below. One, two, three. And let's go back and delete some of these dirt blocks. It's only a couple of them now, but it should look like this right now. Or if you're looking at the right-hand camera screen, you can get a good idea of what we're doing. From this bottom block that we extended now, we're gonna go down into the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. Then from that five flat, we're gonna go to the block all the way on the right and add seven below it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the way you know you did it correctly is if from these singles we have and then that collar right here, you can only go up into the right one more single and the corner is right there. So if this is how it looks when you put a corner piece right there, that means you're doing it correctly and you can continue forward. Or another way to count it out is this flat right here should be five and this length should be eight long. <laughs> From the bottom block right here, we're gonna go down into the right, three flat, one, two, three. Down to the right, three flat again, one, two, three. Down to the right, two flat. And now we kind of need to get the like the shoulder thingy that's right here on this side onto the side over here, which is gonna be kind of difficult, but not really at the same time. All we need to do is go to the first three flat right here, which I'm gonna put a marker on right now. Right there. And we're gonna go to the block all the way to the left from it. Actually, what we can just do to make it look more uniform is just put one extra block below every one of these. So one, two, three. So now we have this. Then go to the block all the way on the left right here, on the bottom, and we're gonna go down into the left, one single. Down into the right, three vertical. One, two, three. And from the last block in a three vertical right here, we're gonna go down into the right, one single. Down into the right, one single again. Down into the left, one single. So it's going back in and out, it's like kind of jagged. And here's where it gets really easy. We're gonna go down into the right, five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. And just to make sure we touch the ground, we're gonna go down into the right, two vertical. One, two. And then finally down to the left, two vertical. One, two. So that was a lot of instructions. I'm gonna go over the numbers with you real quick, just so you can see. So we have one, three vertical, one single, one single again, one single a third time. Then to finish off this length right here, we have five vertical and then two, two. <laughs> so now all we have to do is the right shoulder and we're just gonna move over to do that right now. So from the two flat we have just for, um, floating right here, we're gonna go to the right block in it and put one below it like so, so it looks like a backwards R. We're then gonna go down into the right two single, so make sure you use your placement block. One, two. Down to the right, three flat, three times in a row, I mean two times in a row, sorry. So placement block, one, two, three. 
placement block one two three so that's two times in a row let me just zoom out just so you can see it again we're then going to do the same thing we just did except for twos so down to the right two flat two times in a row one two down to the right four flat one two three four down to the right three flat one two three and i'm going to go over the numbers just a little bit quicker more quickly it's just because i don't want anybody to get lost at the end of the tutorial right here so we have two two one one three three two two four three and just to finally finish off the shoulder we're going to go down and to the right two flat two times in a row one two one two down to the right four flat one two three four and then from the four flat we have right here we're going to count from the left counting three blocks one two three and underneath that third block we're going to put one single down to the left one single again and just touch the ground down to the left one single a third time so this is how it should look So there we have the bottom half of him, and next time we're going to start more of the face and his hair and stuff like that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy us setting up the beginning of our Death to Kid Pixel Art. This is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye!